Welcome to another video on convertible debentures. In this video, we will look at an example to see how we can calculate the investment value and conversion value of a convertible debenture. So let's go through the example. So a convertible debenture with par value of rupees 1000. So basically, what this means is that when a buyer purchased the debenture, he paid rupees 1000 per debenture. Has a maturity of 10 years. That means at the end of 10 years, the convertible debenture will get matured and can be converted into shares and pays an annual coupon of rupees 100. So, what this means is till 10 years the the amount of interest received by the investor is rupees 100 per annum or per year it has a conversion rate of 100 so that means against one debenture the investor at the end of the tenure will get 100 shares and the current share price is rupees 11. So currently the price is rupees 11 per share. The yield curve is flat at 12% per annum. Find out the investment and conversion values of the convertible. So let us first note down the details on a time scale. So this is the information that has been provided to us. Each debenture is for rupees 1000 and it is giving 100 rupees of interest every year. So rupees 100 you will get till the end of 10 years. At the end of 10 years, so the information provided to us has been noted down as you can see so the information provided to us has been noted here the initial investment amount to buy the convertible debenture is rupees 1000 per debenture and this is going to give an annual coupon or an annual interest of rupees 100 so every year for the next 10 years you are going to get 100 rupees at the end the conversion rate is 100 that means you'll get 100 shares and whatever the price of that share is at that time will be the price of the share so 100 multiplied by the price of the share at that time will be what you will have at the end of 10 years the current share price that means at any point in time here the current share price let's say if we are here at this point the current share price is rupees 11 we have to find out the investment value and the conversion value so let us first find out the conversion value now what is conversion value so conversion value is simply the money worth of the convertible debenture if it is converted into shares right now. So assuming that we are trying to convert at this point in time and we know that at this point in time the current share price is rupees 11. So what is the current conversion value? Now conversion ratio is the number of shares that you will get per debenture. So that is given to us as 100. So 100 multiplied by market price per share of the equity. So current market price is rupees 11. So this is 11. So this becomes rupees 1100. So this is the conversion value. So let me note down here. So conversion value is equal to rupees 1100. Now let us find out the investment value. 
So what is investment value of a convertible debenture? The investment value of a convertible debenture is when it is treated as if it is a non-convertible debenture. That is without the feature of conversion. So it will not get converted into shares. It will be treated as if it is a non-convertible debenture and you will continue to get the annual interest and at the end that is during maturity you will get your investment money back so at the end of 10 years you will get rupees 100 plus rupees 1000 that is the investment that you made you will get back so with this what is the present value is the investment value of the debenture so there are two components in finding the present value of this debenture the first component is finding the present value of each of these interest rates that we are getting that is rupees 100 that we are getting annually so we have to find out the present value of this present value of this present value of this and so on now this is a similar situation as that of an annuity and the second part will be to find the present value of the thousand rupees that we'll get at the end of 10 years so first let us find out the present value of an annuity so present value is equal to the formula is the annuity amount into bracket 1 divided by i minus 1 divided by i into bracket 1 plus i to the power n so a is the annuity amount which is 12 percent per annum i is the rate of interest divided by 100 now here correction it here remove the last line where i'm saying uh, a is 12 percent per annum so a is the annuity amount which is rupees 100 so a is equal to rupees 100 i is the interest rate now this is the required rate of return when you are trying to find the present value and here it is given that the required rate is 12 percent note that when you are getting the interest this is a 10 percent so you are getting 100 rupees on 1000 rupees so this is 10 percent your interest is 10 percent but when you are calculating the present value it has to be based on the required rate of return which you have to assume and that is given as 12 percent so i is equal to 12 by 100 is equal to 0 0.12 and n is equal to 10 n is the number of years for maturity which is 10 so let's plug in the values 100 into bracket 1 divided by 0 0.12 minus 1 divided by 0 0.12 into bracket 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power 10 100 into bracket so on calculation we get 8.33 minus 2.68 this is equal to 100 into 5.65 which is equal to 565 rupees so this is part one that is we found the present value of the annuity amount now second we have to find out the present value of this rupees 1000 now the present value formula will be equal to future value divided by 1 plus i to the power n so future value is 1000 so 1000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.12 this is equal to 1000 divided by 1.12 
and this is equal to correction need here um, this whole thing we have to do it again so the formula for present value in this case is equal to future value divided by 1 plus i to the power n this is equal to future value is 1000 so 1000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power n n is 10 so this is equal to 1000 divided by 1.12 to the power 10 so upon calculation this comes to rupees 322 so this is second part now investment value will be equal to 1 plus 2 so 565 plus 322 and this will be equal to 887 rupees so investment value is rupees 887